My family. My family. And by the way, you think my family had it tough? Raina had to keep track of each and every one of my members of my family and me as well. I almost forgot Raina. Where's Raina? Well, thank you. But I, I want to say my family, my family has done it. But think about who it is we fight for today. We might not have prevailed in this campaign, but watching this broadcast somewhere is a family sitting at home, wondering each and every day how they're going to be able to leave a better generation to come. They may have a son or daughter in the next room asleep at this hour, like my 20-month-old is. And they're thinking, you know what? The school we send him or her to is not as good as the one in our neighborhood that I used to have. They sit in an apartment. They look around. They said, you know, this apartment now costs more than it ever did. It takes up 50 percent of our income just to keep us in this apartment. And then tomorrow they're going to go off to work and they're going to go to a job that doesn't pay them as much without benefits. Those are the families that we're fighting for. Those are the people that we fight for because we've got to keep this the capital of the middle class by fighting for them. And I have to say, why am I so passionate about this? It is because of the family that I grew up in. It's deeply personal. My grandfather, who fixed elevators at the Plaza Hotel, died too young because he inhaled asbestos working at the Navy Yards. My father, who went to who went to law school on the GI Bill. My mom was a school teacher, in case I hadn't mentioned it, for 31 years. They, had a, they raised my brothers and me in an affordable home in Park Slope. They had good jobs with benefits. They had the middle class life. They made things better. They sent a son to Congress. And I ask you, here we are on Election Day, when we all divide up into different camps, and that's part of the fun of it. We all divide into different camps. We take great pride in the places that we came from. We think about the countries that our, our ancestors came from. That's natural. That's the kind of pride. Some people say, why do you show so much enthusiasm and so much fun at parades? I make no complaints about that. I make no apologies for that. I take great joy in that part of New York life. But at the end of the day, something binds us together. It binds us together that all of us, all of us, wherever we came from, want to leave a city a little bit better than the one we found. And we might have come up a little short in this campaign, but we are all unified in that fight. And if we keep fighting, and I hope you will, if you keep fighting, I'm going to keep fighting because we're going to keep New York the capital of the middle class for years to come. Thank you very much and God bless you.